Hello everybody, Maximus here with A1 Website Pro and this week we're going to be talking about Summer Note and how you can implement it into your web applications. It's really pretty simple to use. If you use a CDN, you don't even have to download everything. <clears throat> so let's get started. Let me take off my ugly mug from the video capture here. And you can see here I have this Summer Note and I could write, you know, this is a test. And maybe we could put this in like an H1 tag or whatever. And then this is uh, another heading. And we'll put that in an H2 text header. And this <clears throat> is some text. Uh, maybe you'll want to put a graphic in. So let's just go ahead and grab a, a really quick graphic, maybe from A1 Website Pro here. I'll just grab a graphic from the blog. And a copy image address. And you know what? We'll go ahead and start a table. Maybe we'll put this image in the table right here. Paste that in there, and uh, we can reduce it down to 50%, 25%. And then we have, maybe we could put a video in this in this table. So, uh, well, let's go to YouTube. We'll just grab the first video that we find. So I can show you guys how to do this. The summer note's really nifty, and it's really handy. And uh, I'll just go ahead and grab this fellow's video real quick. Just the link. Close it out there. And uh, see how the cursor is blinking in there. We'll click this little video and we'll just paste that URL in there. And voila, it inserts that. And then maybe you want something down here. This is some more. Uh, more here. And then you could go back. And then the text, you can center the text. You could do all kinds of things here. Um, put that in the center. Maybe you want to have a bullet list. One, two, three. Uh, and maybe you don't want that centered. Maybe you want that to go to the, to the left or to the right. So you can do that. And then we'll just hit save like so. And uh, what we'll do is we'll bring up what it did, test.html. It created this file here okay and so here you see everything that we did in summer node is, is right here and it created an html file and that's what we're going to learn in this and this is just one of the things that you could do with this web application of course later on we'll be learning about how to put it in a uh, in a database or whatever you could create files you can even create other you know different files all over the place. But uh, let's go over the steps on how I made this happen. Um, here we're going to start out. Let me go ahead and delete this test.html. Move out the trash. Uh, this foo HTML, I'll delete that. Move to trash. And here we have the index and the save. So we want to create two files one's index.php one save.php and you have to be working on a, a server here and so let me go ahead and we'll, we'll start we have to start out with the, the bare bones html right and and you have to do this with every project because everything writes runs on a hypertext markup language within uh, the html we'll put the head tag uh, I always like to open and close the tags like so. And we'll put a body tag in here. If you want to learn more about uh, web development and like the basics, uh, you, all you'll have to do is uh, go to the link in the description of this video, and then there's a beginner's web development course. So if this doesn't look familiar to you, then you know that there, that I got a good way for you guys to learn. But right at the top where it says HTML here, we're going to set the language to English. Just like so. And we're going to declare this document as the doc type 
HTML because, you know, you have XML, you have the other ones. So that's the very first thing you want to put up there. And this is kind of like your bare bones HTML. All right. Now inside the head, we're going to need some scripts to make our summer network. But let me go ahead and hit save and we'll come back here. And this particular folder is called summer note example. Okay. And you can see right here, we, we barely have anything in there. Let me right click so you can view the uh, page source. You can see that there's our bare bones HTML. So we're ready to get to work, okay? Now, one of the things that I like to bring in uh, the very first uh, in, the, in the head tag, let me go, let's go inside the head tag, give us some separation here. And we're going to start with the meta character set of UTF-8. This is a universal language for computers so all the computers can understand one another. Uh, the next thing we'll do is we'll go ahead and throw in a title. Okay, so let's make the title just be Summer Note. Now, for the important stuff, we need to bring in the CSS and JavaScript files. Now, I'm just going to grab them all and paste them in here, but i got to tell you something that's pretty important for you guys to understand. and It's important for you guys to know that you need to bring in the CSS files first and the JavaScript after that, okay? So you can see this here, this link, it's linked to a CSS file and it's a style sheet. And then the next one's JavaScript. Now this, but notice we have another CSS file down here after this JavaScript. This will work because this works in correlation with this and this works in correlation with this. But it will, it will not hurt for you to just take this CSS file, just to be safe, and put it right underneath that other CSS file there. So that you're uh, having all your CSS come in first, and then your JavaScript coming in last. And you can actually take all of this stuff and put it into the footer of your website. But this one's coming from Stack Path. This is the bootstrap uh, minimum CSS. And this particular one here is for summer note. Okay, so you have two different style sheets. Now you could combine those into your own style sheet uh, if you downloaded everything, but uh, we're not doing that. We're just gonna use these CDNs. Uh, these next three scripts right here, JavaScript, this one here is a jQuery operating off a of CDN. This one here is Bootstrap for bootstrap to function. And this last one here is the summer note JavaScript, okay? So let me here hit save like so. And uh, we'll go on to the next section of this tutorial. But as you can see, if we hit F5 just to refresh the page, right click, and let's view the page source. Well, here it is right here. So all I have to do is refresh it. You see that we're, we're getting our, uh, we have our, our uh, CSS and JavaScript ready to go. Okay. So the next thing we need to do is go down here inside the body tag. Uh, right, right straight away, I'm just going <clears> to <throat> pop in here this H1 tag that says summer note. And let's go ahead and I'm going to pop in this form that I created to save time. So we're having a form. Uh, tag here. The method is going to be post. The div ID is called editor, and this is so that our JavaScript can target this ID and put the summer node in it. And the name is editor data, and then we're just closing out that div. Now this right here is where our summer note is going to show up. Underneath that summer note box, we're going to have a button, and the button, the ID is going to be save btn, and then we're going to just label that as save. All right. Now, if I hit save, we go here and we refresh the page. We can see we have the summer note and the save. And you're probably wondering, well, where's the actual box? Well, that's because summer note's going to operate off this div. Now, you could put text area. And this will work out just the same, but it's not necessary. But if you do that in your HTML, you'll see that you, you get a little text area here. But it's not necessary with the way uh, Summer Note is programmed. So we'll just leave this as, as a div tag. Now we're ready to start putting in our scripts. Okay, so let's go down here. I'm just going to grab... Uh, 
let's go we'll put in our script tag just like so and we're going to go inside here in this side the script tag and uh we're going to go ahead and fire up this see what it takes to fire up this uh summer note now i need to uh close it with a curly bracket and a couple parentheses and so I'm just going to do that here. Now, if I hit save and I come back here to the summer note and I hit refresh, I should get my summer note. And there I do. I got it. Uh, and then you know, I can start text typing in here, blah, 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 blah. I can put in my videos just like we did before. But if I hit the save button, nothing's going to happen. That's because we haven't programmed that in there yet. So uh, the, the other thing that i want to program here is this save.php and what this is going to do is it's going to be responsible for creating that file we're going to use ajax so that whenever this button is clicked it sends all the content over to this save file and this save file will be responsible for creating a test.html let me go ahead and pop that this in here of course, you start out with your PHP tag, and we're, we're go it's going to be looking for a post content, uh, post uh, variable of content, and we're going to store that into a PHP variable called content. And the file we're going to be creating is test.html. Now, this PHP function file put contents. This is the one that's going to create the test.html file. Okay, so we're taking the content, whatever's in that content, we're going to create this file. If it's not equal to false, we're going to echo out content save successfully. And we're going to do that in the console uh, log. Else, we're going to echo out, hey, we were unable to save this content. And then we close out the curly brackets and the PHP tag. So let me go ahead and save that. And the, we have some more uh, script writing to do down here. So let me go ahead and, and, and grab the rest of this script. And we'll go over it real quick. So you can see how this works. Now this is just bare bones stuff, right? Uh, so we already went over that we're targeting the ID of editor to get our summer node in there. All right. So here's editor. And, and that's where our summer node is showing. Now what we're doing is we're targeting the save button whenever it's clicked we're going to call this function and what does this function do well it creates a variable of content and it gets this content from the editor so notice the hashtag editor it's looking for that div id and that's right where your summer note is div id and so it's getting the code from inside summer note now we're going to make an ajax call the URL that we're sending all this information to, this content variable, see the data, content, we're going to post the content to the save.php URL. And then this is where we're going to be showing those uh, two messages, either uh, number one, content saves successfully, or it was unable to save the content. And this is going to appear very quickly whenever this happens. And then finally, we're going to be closing out all of our uh, tags down here. Okay. So let me hit save. And let's go back to our, uh, our file. And I'm going to make this smaller. And I'm going to right click and inspect element so we can bring up our console log. Now let's go ahead and put some, uh, well, let's, let's refresh this page so we can start fresh. There's our uh, writer. So this is a head tag. And we'll just go ahead and put that in there. This is some text, just like so. All right. Now, if you keep your mind focused over here, whenever I hit save, Notice it said content save successfully, and it did that really quick. Okay, so we're looking for the test.html. So let's go ahead and grab this with a summer note example, and we'll type in test.html and see if it created that file. And lo and behold, it did. Another way that you can check 
is if you're in your Atom editor, you can see that it created test.html there. Now, if you want to make it say something different, maybe like we'll have it say the name of it will be foo.html. Okay, so here we should see a foo.html appear within there. So let's go to our summer note and we'll go ahead and refresh this page. And we'll say, is this foo.html? Just like so, hit save. And now let's try to bring up foo.html. Foo.html. Is this foo HTML? And see how it's, uh, the PHP is just writing this stuff for you. And now you have another file called foo HTML. But this is one, uh, this is like the basics of, you know, uh, your summer note. Uh, this is the bare bones summer note editor. This is basically what it comes with whenever you first start it up. And you have all these different things that uh, your users can use and, and type in there. Uh, we're going to be go talking a little bit more about summer note and the things that, that it does and the different things that you can do with it. You can put it in dark mode. You could submit it to a database, the information to a database instead of creating a file with it. Um, you can make it taller, shorter, but we're going to be going over that in the next several lessons and how you can implement that and also how you can have a picture be uploaded and, and it gets uploaded to your server. Uh, I have tutorials on this that I've created before, but I got some interesting things to show you. And so I'll uh, be happy to show you them things as long as you follow along. Uh, please like, share, and subscribe. It really helps out the channel. And I will see you guys in the next video tutorial. Bye-bye.